What's up guys, Ron Johnson, fish enthusiast, mental health coach, and student media therapist. I'm back in the fish room again because, as always, if you're a fish keeper, there's always something happening, be it what you saw, what you predicted, what you just don't know. And this time we have issue with the pond tank. So the pond has been having some issues, and if you notice, right here in the middle, I'm going to zoom in. You see Big Dan is up at the top, and he's swimming around, right? You see him there. As you guys can see, where's, there's Bully right there, and there's Ollie right there. And what's really happening is that I noticed about two days ago. So, if you ever notice to see a fish kind of rubbing themselves on the rock or rubbing themselves on the ground, that's the indicator something might be happening. Now, that can mean that the water quality is off, which can be the case. It can be if they have a disease, known or unknown, that you can check for. It can be they're just doing it naturally. But what happens is I'm always watching my, watching my fish for signs of something different. And one thing I noticed in Big Dan is one, he stopped eating as much. Two, he stopped really being aggressive with the food. And three, more importantly, I noticed that he wasn't eating. So it became an issue. Then I did a water, change, water test. The money was a little high, so I did that yesterday. And after the water change, I went down to the bottom of the tank. You guys can see right through the tank. And I noticed that he had some spots. Now, at first I thought it was ick, but it shows signs of more white-ish. So I'll show, here's a picture right now, ick, what it looks like. But I noticed now is red velvet. So here's a picture of red velvet. Another fish disease. Now, what fish, is like human beings, they can already have it inside them. So his immune system could be weakened. It could be something in the water. I put the bully in there recently, so the bully could have had something I didn't see in the other tank, which is the 180, that he had that got Dan sick. So just like human beings, one person may not be symptomatic, one person gets a disease right away, a symptomatic of that disease. Same thing happened fish keeping. So what I did is I dosed it, as you guys saw earlier, what right now I'm gonna show X um ick X. So what that means is that it's gonna cure the disease of the tank. But what happened actually is I noticed, like I said again, he's at the top of the tank, right? So he's right there at the top looking for air. So what I started to do is already had one L filter right there, one air uh, pump, a second rod right there with an with actual sponge filter. So when a fish are starts moving towards the top, it means they're low oxygen in the water. And what that means is that themselves, the fish are not getting enough oxygen. So sometimes we dose the medication in a tank or a pond. So most often what you do is that you have a tank, a, med a medicated tank, and you put the fish in there. Well, Big Dan is big and he's out bigger than any of my tanks I have. So what I ended up having to do was medicate the whole tank. So that means I had a lot of medication there. And just like human beings, even though medication says aquarium is safe, you don't know how the fish are gonna to react to it. So what I noticed is the behavior changed. Big Dan's at the top looking for air. So I added one, I added a second one in the back there, you can see. You can go. A little more here, you can see that one. And I also added a small little bitty one right there. So the whole purpose of all that, the whole purpose of all that was to increase the air ration on the tank. So hopefully it gets better, but that's a reason why as a fish keeper, you're always going through something in the tank and it's important to identify what it is so you can fix it, make your fish feel happy and safe in their environment. And that's what I'm doing now, it's getting medication, I'm gonna do another water change tomorrow, see what happens, and check, make sure he's okay. So I'm coming down and checking on Big Dan, adding more air, ration, or oxygen to the tank. That's what's really happening, and see how he fits. So, as you guys know, stay tuned for more videos. Ron Johnson, Fishing Through Pediatrics, and thanks for listening. Okay, my fishy friends, Big Dan is doing much better today. I shot a video, and you guys will see it soon, but what happened is that I need to treat the tank. I use Ick X. And what can happen is that when X is in a tank, and because of its medication, it can lower the oxygen in the tank. And I noticed Big Dan was at the top, low, breathing for air, he wasn't looking too good, looking very lethargic. Today he is doing much better. So I'm gonna show you guys what he actually looks like and what's going on. Let me get down low. Oh, there he is, and he's turning around, he's looking much better. He's not at the top of the tank like he was yesterday, but as you guys can see, I have one there, I have one in the back, I have one there to the side, and I have one in the corner there, and I put a lot of aeration on the tank, and he's looking much, much, much better. 
not swimming to the top looking for air, but just kind of cruising along. So what that means is Big Dan is doing much better. And that's part of fish keeping hobby is identifying problems, what it is, saving their lives, giving them a better home, and just make sure you do the best thing you can because sometimes in a fish keeping hobby, it's really hard to know what you're doing right, what you're doing wrong, and what's going on. I can't, you know, get a fish an x-ray and I, I can't sit there and say, this is it. We just try the best thing you can and try some medication um, and it's not working. So he's doing much better. I put some more filtration, um, sorry, aeration and circulation on the actual pond itself. All the fish are much better. Stay tuned, my fishy friends, and always look, doing, the, doing the best you can is always the best thing you can do in life. Be present, be happy, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for listening. Okay, day three, and Big Dan is back to normal. So I was scared a couple of days ago. I've been doing treating, water changes, filtration, aeration, just get Big Dan healthy, and I fed him yesterday, and he ate. He's back in business, so take a look at him now. As you guys can see, he's swimming around. It's looking good. Let me give you a close-up view of what's going on down here. You can see right there, it's Ali. Big Dan's trying to get away in, but he's looking much more healthier. He's actually breathing better. So he's doing much better. Look at swimming around. Even that moon on the back of his tail is actually killing pretty nicely. So you can see Big Dan is back. It worked. I tried my best. And it's one thing to remember, guys, out there. When you're facing adversity, try your best. Try the best you can to do what it takes. Don't give up. It is possible. You'll learn something. You'll grow. Nothing ever is right. And you can do it. And always. Thanks for listening. This is Ron Johnson, fish enthusiast, mental health coach, and student be therapist. I'll see you soon.